Posey, the Monster Slayer. Story by Corey Doctorow. Pictures by Mark Rockefeller. Posey, bedtime. Parents, always with the bedtimes. Do you really need all those toys for bed, Posey? Yes, Daddy. Do you really need me to leave you a midnight snack, Posey? Yes, Daddy. One more thing. Monster Book Daddy, again, again. Oh, and those are all the facts about monsters. The beginning. No, the end. The middle. No, the end. The half title page. The end. The author biography. The end, the end, the end. The end. The end. Good night, Posey. Please stay in bed tonight. Good night, Daddy. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Posey knew she should sleep, but she was much too excited. She'd been listening to the spooky noises and watching the shadows. She knew the monsters were coming, but that was okay. She'd been doing research with her monster book. She'd been making plans. A werewolf! Posey knew all about werewolves from her monster book. Hungry, raiding backyards by moonlight, snatching birds from the nest. Werewolves hated silver and they feared the light. Posey waved her wand. The wolf man whimpered at the zigzags of light. She leapt from, leapt from the bed, collaring the werewolf with her princess frilly pants silver tiara. He rattled the windows with his howl and scampered off with his tail between his legs. Victory! Ah Posey Russell Shrag! Daddy was cross. You are supposed to be in bed and asleep. You are not supposed to be playing with toys. He took the wand out of her hand, tucked her in, and went back to bed. Sorry, Daddy. Posey didn't tell him about the werewolf. Posey didn't stay in bed. Daddy was scared of monsters. Let Daddy stay in bed. Great old ones were hard to miss once you knew what to look for, like a family of octopuses all tangled together. They pounced like crazy. Posey heard this one climbing her bookcase that evening. This was going to be fun. The great old one made a noise like a frightened tea kettle and a blender rolling down a hill. Got something in your eye. She sprayed bubblegum perfume into his terrible lidless eye. And it slithered away, crying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Posey, am you now, Russell Shrag? Mama looked really scary. You get into bed right now. It is nighttime. It is dark outside. I am asleep. Daddy is asleep. You go to sleep. Poor mummy was so tired. Posey would have to take care of the rest of the monsters more quietly. First up, vampires. They really hated to get dirty. Good thing Daddy left her a midnight snack. Splish! As a vampire ran for the laundry room, Posey tripped it with her necklace. It changed into a bat. Posey caught it in a net made from fairy wings. It turned into mist. Posey turned on her fan and blew it out the window. Posey, Emmanuel, Fibonacci, Russell, Shrag. Posey was sure she'd be quiet, but Dad had ears like a bat. He was so tired that he stepped on a Harry the Hair Block and said some swears. Poor daddy. Rotten monsters. Good thing there was only one left. I suppose you're gonna fight me too. Frankenstein's monster sounded scared and sad. Of course I am. Frankenstein monsters are always losing their heads. They don't mind. They're used to it. And luckily, Posey loved to make new toys. Posey, Fibonacci, Amanlius, Nautilus, Russell, Shrag. Some monsters were tougher than others. She'd do battle with the zombies another night. You look like a zombie. I feel like a zombie.